Hey guys, welcome to a new week. My name is Amanda. This is the Garcia Blended Family. Tonight we did a super easy dinner. I had got those whole free range chickens and I had taken one out to defrost and one of the girls were going to cook it and we just got so busy and we weren't going to be home with appointments so I said let me just throw it in the Instapot. So I threw it in the Instapot with fresh rosemary, fresh thyme, fresh oregano, um, chopped up onion that I already had. I put a cup of chicken broth in it and 40 minutes later it was off the bone. It was about a five and a half pound chicken. So we decided that tonight we would just make chicken salad with it. So I've got some spring onion in there, salt, pepper. Uh, what else did I put in? Some oregano. I did put some celery seed, some paprika. This is really just to taste. And I did do a little bit of bacon bits just to have a little bit of crunch. But I did some regular bacon too. And then I just made a quick dip. We went and we just got some breads because um, we don't really eat a ton of sandwiches so we got some while we were at Publix we got some pumpernickel some sourdough and some um, just some Italian bread again you know probably a whole loaf if not more will be gone just with us eating one sandwich um, and these are smaller so some kids might have two um, we made some French onion dip guys this is the easiest thing Lipton's onion soup mix and then however much sour cream based on taste so the onions will soften up um, I, I, I put two packages so um, there's two envelopes in one box I put two in it I like mine a little tangier so I do less sour cream and then we I just cut up some lettuce and tomato to put on the salads and ooh, some of this got a little dark but I didn't I wasn't sure because I was cooking this is like look at this look how pretty some of this is this is that bacon from the whole pig that we bought. Some of it's crispy because my husband likes crispier bacon sometimes. It's, and I like really crispy bacon. Only meat I like well cooked. So we're gonna assemble these and we are gonna have chicken salad sandwiches. And then this is a little bowl. Um, we've been wanting the last couple days, you know, if we do something heavier like a roast that we made um, <clears throat> on what day was that? Sunday. My daughter made a roast, and it's in the other video. But um, we tend to then, you know, based on just how we're feeling, you know, you don't always have to do this huge elaborate dinner. So, you know, chicken salad, you know, isn't really that elaborate. We got some chips for the kids. But, and we're going to do a family game night. We have killer bunnies. Guys, those are all expansion packs, and we are addicted. And sushi go. So we are definitely a card game family. We play almost every night card games with our kids. Something they like, something we like. You get to talk to them, bond with them, and it's not, you know, doing something they necessarily don't like to do. So last night, back to last night, we, I just cooked up some rotini pasta, and there is some, um, I had a bunch of stuff on my counters that were like green olives, black olives, uh, marinated artichoke hearts, there's cucumber, did I say green olives? Salami, pepperoni, there's cherry peppers, a little bit of like a Fiesta blend cheese. There is green onion in there as well. And Italian olive garden dressing. So we ate um, a plate of this with fresh fruit, fresh pineapple, fresh mango, um, and just had like a really light dinner. And then a little bit of like pudding that Isabel had made those little dump cake ones. So this was just a really quick summer salad with fresh fruit, a little bit lighter. And then tonight we're actually having something a little bit easier too. And part of this is, I this, this pasta right here filled this entire bowl. Dinner last night, kids had some for lunch, and that's all we have. So. Same thing with chicken salad. If I get enough for my husband and maybe a couple of kids to have lunch tomorrow, that's a mom win. So they're going through our vegetables and our fruit and just everything. So we are um, using this for um, like leftovers too. I'm, I'm trying to cook enough that at least feed a couple kids. And then, because I don't want them all always eating something frozen or something prepared we're trying to get away from that a little bit and tomorrow we'll have a more intensive labor dish but I for tonight thought okay not too bad easy ready for game night we'll mix up a sandwich toast some bread and call it a day so this is what we had on 
to, or tonight. Hey guys, we did a couple different things. You know, we're doing the pantry challenge and we're trying to use some things up. I have a ton of uh, marinated otter chokes. And so I made two dishes of this. I have one in the fridge that's not cooked yet. If it gets close, I'll just flash freeze it and use it when I need something. But I love these dips, so probably won't need to freeze it. But it's cream cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise, black pepper, artichokes. I did fresh spinach. And did I say sour cream? Sour cream. And garlic. And just baked that off until it was all bubbly and melted. Oh, and fresh Parmesan. I'm sorry, fresh Parmesan. And I also put, because I have a ton of that also, different blocks. And then also too, I also put um, mozzarella cheese. So super yummy. We're having this as like an appetizer with um, some of these Costco tortilla chips that we had. So we're gonna eat on this. So that was the appetizer. And then for dinner, we made black beans and rice. So this is some ham hocks and we do lots of seasoning and bell peppers and some Lubano pep plo whew, Ploblano peppers um, along with some white rice. This does have a little bit of ham hock just for seasoning. It, it's not that much. Um, and then also we have cornbread that we made. We'll make the Jiffy cornbread. It's still in the oven. We'll make the Jiffy cornbread, but I add things to it and doctor it up. So we'll have fresh cornbread. And then these were fun. We had got these from all these. I think they were like 80 cents, these graham cracker crust. And we had sugar-free sugar -free pudding mix. So all we did was we mixed the pudding. I think this one's like a sugar-free cheesecake flavor. And then we put a layer of Cool Whip. And then just for fun, these aren't sugar-free, but these are like Heath. And then this one's sugar-free chocolate, and we just added a couple of like mint chocolate chips on top. So I think I bought, like I said, I think these were 85 cents. I bought two of them so we could do a little fun thing for dessert. So we'll have beans and rice and cornbread. They have, this is the babies. He doesn't quite eat spinach dip, so we gave him a little bit more. The spinach artichoke dip, and then they'll have some, a piece of pie later, and we will play games. Um, before the kids go and flip houses. Hello, so for dinner today, I'm, what I'm going to be making is a simple meatballs and um, spaghetti and meatballs dinner. And I'm going to be putting together a salad for the kids. So it'll be a simple little salad, have some, maybe some broccoli, some, some radishes, some tomatoes, bell peppers, uh, cucumber, lettuce, leftover spring mix, what's left in there. Then I'm gonna be adding some meatballs with some um, pasta sauce and spaghetti. And uh, what I'll do is I'll record and show you the pro quick process. Okay, now what I'm gonna just start with is a low low temperature and put in the uh, pasta sauce and include the meatball so it could just cook and let it just sit and simmer and cook itself while I make some spaghetti on the side. So now I'm just adding some pasta sauce. Adding meatballs, frozen meatballs. I'm probably gonna add a few dozen, a couple dozen, two. probably to about the middle, medium, that. so it's set to medium and we'll just go with that. Now the next piece is going to be to get the um, pasta started. Okay guys, just want to tell you that what I did was I moved over the, um, the sauce with the meatballs to another burner and I did a little research and found out that Dutch ovens are great to use for boiling your noodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of salt, 
um, maybe a little bit of basil, just something to put in there with the pasta noodles. Let it boil, let it get you know soften, and then proceed with the rest of the um, with the meal setup, uh, which includes the salads. So here we go. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up all the vegetables so that the children will have um, a selection of what they want for their meat, um, their salad. And just a simple, you know, cutting. Actually, let me. I know I'm new at this cooking thing. I'm not a chef, so I apologize. But you know, when when my poor wife has to work a 12-hour shift, you know, Daddy had to jump in and help out. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice up all these vegetables, and you'll you'll see it quickly done. Just to show you, final product, it's a salad. Now Austin only wanted cucumber and some radishes with the salad, so he's gonna put a little bit of salad dressing on it, and there's the meatballs and the spaghetti. And dinner is done for uh, today's dinner. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you a small grocery haul that I did while my wife's uh, unfortunately at work, uh, bus doing um, working in the ER for 12 hours, so. Yeah, I figured I'd help her out a little bit and get some groceries or some, you know, pickup items. So uh, let me let me show you what I did get here. Um, I I got three of those organic milks. So uh, Sam, Sammy loves the little baby. Sammy loves uh, his organic cold milk. Um, I got some onions, um, a um, cabbage, a little small head of cabbage as as asked for. Um, I got some mangoes, some you know some mangoes in different degrees of ripeness so that we could, you know, enjoy those. Small bag of tomatoes, avocados because again, little Sammy, he's a big avocado head, loves that. Um, also got a uh, little small bag of uh, baby potatoes, some lettuce, bananas because we all love bananas. Um, I got a um, two pack of um, strawberries, a two pack of blueberries, a pineapple, and. Um, also got a uh, dark chocolate for the wife since she has to work 12 hours. I figured a little treat might help her and make her feel better by the time she gets home. And um, and for this whole grocery haul, you know, it wasn't bad. It was all these grocery haul. It was uh, $40, around $40 at 64 cents. So not a bad deal. Um, oh yeah, fun game. Make sure the family, if you ever have a game you want to play with the family, this game, Killer Bunnies, hilarious. Mocks a lot of movies, TV shows with bunnies, and there's different little degrees. And another fun game, we play it with the family, Sushi Go. Another fun game. All right, guys, that was just our, our grocery haul. I'm sorry, I get off topic there. But not bad for $40.64. Hey guys, so those were our videos of the week. I know my husband filmed the last one. I was working today, so he just went ahead and finished it up. I probably won't do Saturday and Sunday. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video now. Just because I work this weekend, it's just my husband and two of the boys, one being um, you know almost a year old. So they'll eat leftover spaghetti and I'm sure they'll do boy food, so. There's things that they can eat if they choose, but um, I won't be making full meals because I don't do that when I work 12 hour shifts. So let me show you what the fridges and freezes, freezers look like. <clears throat> so we still have a whole pie. The boys will eat that. I still have like a couple um, like dips that they can have, cheese, a little bit of cheese for salad, some sour creams left. This is a whole spinach artichoke dip that I haven't even baked some like little like one piece of french toast there's some cheese and luncheon meat down here some, some mozzarella snacking cheese we have like this will be one night we have some carrots left i'll cut those up at some point um, there's some few snacking peppers cucumbers a little bit of lettuce there's some cilantro mango you know, it's, this is leftover spaghetti. This will probably be a lunch or two. 
and then of course milks and stuff we finished half of our eggs and we did go through this is my homemade chicken broth from that I cooked that chicken and made chicken salad and I just um, went ahead and I had all those bagged vegetables and so what I did is I put it back in with the vegetables and the bones and pressure cooked it for 40, 40 hours Ugh. four hours and um, for broth and made two of these so I'll scrape the fat off of those and this is a great like bone broth um, still working on salad dressings um, got rid of a lot of different little things these are somebody didn't know and opened two of our um, canned jellies you know we'll eat things like these olives these are just some little things that I had opened we might eat some pot stickers too but um, these are just some things I'd opened and made to got that salad and then down here I know it's really hard to see in here let me let it focus there's still some corn dogs that's another bag of vegetables I see a breakfast sandwich we opened these for spaghetti and meatballs. When ground meat was so high, I bought two of those because I figured, okay, they're fully cooked. They're hamburgers, or hamburgers, they're meatballs. I can make Swedish meatballs with them. I can make put them in spaghetti. I can make big ziti with them. And it's just a way to get it, and it was a better price. So I did that, it was six pounds of it for a fraction of what we would have paid. So a little bit of that. There's another bag of vegetables, some little treats. There's only a couple sandwiches. I'm sure those will be gone in the next week. But the meatballs came from the outside freezer. So what we'll do, let me just move this. What we'll do with those is we will bring stuff in that we're working on and then we'll pull from this freezer because the other freezer is just so hard to get through. I need to reorganize it and I want to put it stuff in crates so I can lift crates out because it just falls all over. We did buy some popsicles for different things. There's luncheon meat, two Mississippi roast. I don't let them just eat all the Mississippi roast. Those are pre-made meals. And I don't let my kids, when it's time to cook, if they want to make something particular, that's fine. Or a recipe that I've already done. I don't have a problem with that. I just, those are like my emergency roast that I know if I'm going out of town or there's nothing made and I don't want my husband with five kids to try to come up with food, I'll stick one of those in the crock pot, put it on low. When he comes home, he'll make some rice or something and we're good to go. And we'll call it a day. So they love that. There's some garlic bread. I thought they were going to eat that today. I guess it didn't make it. And then we never did our fried rice. Things, so that's what we got to try those and there's some tomatillos in the bottom so in this freezer we have made some headway there's not as much I basically moved the cheese up here this is all our extra cheese we have one bag of broccoli we uh, these are just pepper some of this stuff like these I I put these in soups and stuff or whatever my mother-in-law tells me to do with these so I I'm not necessarily trying to go through all of those but we definitely have sliced cheese I have a block of or no, another thing of sliced cheese and then a couple blocks and then again this is easier now to show you like I have guys so many peppers oh I have green beans I forgot about that so these are these are multicolored peppers I what I'll do is if you buy these in bulk so when everything was going on with the um, corona and restaurants weren't allowed to be opened a lot of farmers went through a lot of vegetables so I got 25 pounds 25 pounds of bell peppers for ten dollars you know you can't get that anywhere so this was ten dollars this is a gallon bag and when i got these i had two of them because i cut them up i gave my mother-in-law i don't know like 30 peppers i cut up a whole bag for one of my sisters my mom and like I said I've used a bunch of them I also got jalapenos the same way 25 pounds of jalapenos for ten dollars and it was before my peppers came in so these are also um, ones but um, I had made I um, pickled jalapenos and I had so many jars I'm like oh, okay some of these we have to we have to save so what I'll do is these are still spicy when you take them out I will make a tomatillo salsa. I like the, the raw one the best. And I learned it from my mother-in-law. And sh I will just take some of these out and defrost them. And then 
I'm pulverizing them anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And I will um, always have, I for some reason, that's like my salsa now. Um, I do have like some sliced peppers. I still have whole ones. These are like, sh these I won't use. These I'm saving for December. These are like very thin strips. We'll make tamales with this whole pack, um, but more tomatillos. So, and then there's a couple things of broccoli. So I'm actually this week not gonna go to the grocery store. Let me close this. And this is cherries. I'm gonna do something with that. I haven't figured it out, but I will. I'll tell you what I'm doing at the end. We did have beans one night. It didn't even move my beans. Like, ah, didn't move my beans. But I mean, I have less in here. I still have those tomatillos. I think I'm gonna make an enchilada casserole. It's not the way it does, but I still use the ingredients that she uses. These are baked spice. Guys, I have to organize this much, much better. You can see, this was a box of these, like, I guess they're ramen, but they're more like an Asian. It's almost like a hoisin type sauce. Um, we have some rice cauliflower in here, um, and we do still have some spaghetti. These are breadcrumbs, actually, some gnocchi. So, um, this is getting, this was like emergency soup. We like lived on this when we were sick. Um, I still have that going on. Ooh, that sugar can't stay like that. Um, this is still my canning, and then we did, I know it doesn't look like it, but this was like overflowing, so... Oh, I have a pancake mix in here. See what happens when you can, this one's come, this has a thing of marshmallows. Um, let's see if we can get down here. This is just some baking stuff and we can bread something and these are flowers. The part that you, I think you, I can really tell is again, we went through a lot of different condiments because I made that pasta salad. So the pasta salad took multiple, like it took a whole dressing. Um, I do want to make some more granola. My parents love the granola and I have this maple syrup and then I have one in home or I'm sorry, one in home. I have one in the cabinet that's open. So I have plenty of this. I probably will make some granola and I might make some yogurt. Stay tuned. I have two of these yellow rice. We still have peanut butter. Those are just salsas. I have a Pedialyte back there. You know, orange pepperings. But, you know, we've gone through a lot of these different vegetables. Um, my husband will eat the tuna. We're going through, like, that was that box was down there of something. These are all extra oils and those are baked beans and some different canned stuff. Remember, we are in Florida. We have hurricanes, so I don't necessarily have to eat all my tuna rice. I don't go let that deplete peanut butter and jelly, which I have a ton of jelly stored. Um, What else? Peanut butter and jelly, rice, oh, and beans. And I, you saw those beans that I had in there. Don't forget, I also have two big 12 pounds of a black bean and a 12 pound of pinto beans. So, so I don't know if you can tell, but this definitely, we definitely ate, you know, we had some bacon on our chicken salad sandwiches. There's some ham, or some, still have plenty of sausage. Um, we used a ham hock. Put some of that over here. These are still the organ meats. These will go to my mother-in-law, so this will empty out completely over here. I think there's just like that cheese wrap. Some of these are hamburgers that I made up. And again, we're getting down like this will be a meal. We have turkey burgers. I still have plenty of chickens. Oh, look, we can go this way now. Like there's like cooked shrimp, raw shrimp. I have ground bison. I have pot stickers, hot dogs. So we have plenty of stuff in here still. And then these are like pork chops and stuff, which I we really liked those pork chops. I could... I really like those pork chops. I could see us eating those again. So that's beef stew meat. So definitely can see some headway in here. So guys, that's it. That's our what's left in our pantry. Um, there won't be a huge change next week just because maybe in the inside freezer, but we won't really pull anything over. Or maybe I'll pull it over once I do my meal plan. That's what I'll do. I'll pull over and I'll show you what we... Um, I'll show you what's left in our freezers and then I'll show you once we pull our meat or whatever out of our big freezer we'll put it in our front freezer so I just don't have to go in here as many times I like 
just going in my freezer once so once or twice um, so we'll do that and then you'll see at the end what it's what's happening but I mean I know it looks like oh you're you're trying to eat all your meat remember we're getting a lamb in August I can always get more chickens if I want and then we're getting a cow so we're kind of we have beef and I'll save some beef for I will my dogs we will save some pork for after we have the cow like pork chops or sausage whatever I have left I'm not trying to eat the whole pig but if we do I can always get another one in December so we're gonna figure out the fridge that's inside I'm just not really feeling it it's just we we when we do huge grocery shops we will fill that freezer but I'm thinking that unless I do Costco if I yeah, made sure my fridge was empty I could probably get a lot of fruits and vegetables in that front fridge and I'm not used to it I might put an upright freezer in the house where that other one is maybe not as big maybe I'll use that one for pork and because it's not as much meat and then use my chest freezer for beef I don't know we're gonna see but all I know right now is I'm using more freezer so I know that I'm using more freezers right now than I am fridges and part of that's because we had the side-by-side -side before we got the, the bottom freezer and we really have so much more room that now it's okay I want more freezer space so if I end up I really want to can half of those um, tomatillos and see if I can can it and how it tastes I might do a small batch and I'll show you how I do that and then yeah and then we'll see and if it turns out good the salsa then we will can the rest of them and that would literally I could do away with that whole freezer refrigerator so the only thing we wouldn't be able to do is buy as much milk as we do but all these is a mile down the road so we get our milk there um, so yeah I could just do that so we'll let you know some different changes coming up but um, this is the Garcia blended family thanks guys for following along let me know if you like these videos do you want me to do more recipes on how I'm making things um, let me know what you want to see in the videos with the house tour and if you want more recipes I know it looks like one daughter's cooking and one isn't she's cooked things that we just haven't got on video so it's a lot easier when I'm home and I can monitor that so Thanks for joining us guys. We hope you have a great day and hit like and subscribe.